Hey, uh, Toby here again. Just want to give you a quick update on the end of week three um, from my gas course with Beaver Training Academy. So I said, end of week three now, it's Friday, so not at college, so I'm doing my, my day job today, but still want to give you a quick update with a summary of my thoughts from the last three weeks. So the overwhelming factor for me has very much been that feeling that we've covered such a huge amount in such a short space of time. And yeah, it's three weeks, it's 12 days, which is nothing in reality. And yet I feel that we've covered a huge amount. Yeah, we've covered flues, chimneys, ventilation. Um, we've covered um, pipe sizing. We've covered calculating the, um, the, the input for appliances. Um, and then all the theory in terms of the testing and you know, the use of a U gauge, the combustion analysis meter, um, practical skills, including soldering, compression fittings. And so, yeah, it's just been huge. And I think you know, we're really starting to see it as, you know, certainly myself, we're out and about in the car and you just, you see, you, you're almost looking out for flues and looking, oh, what would that be compliant? Every time I go into a house or a property, and I look at the boiler far more closely to see how it's been installed, even looking at the quality of the soldering um, on, the, on the joints. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's something I just wouldn't have done before. Whereas now I'm just really starting to understand it, piece it all together and just really looking for them to the next stage recently, uh, really. Uh, so yesterday was Thursday and um, we go out on placement on Monday. So yesterday we spent most of the day really discussing our placements and really discussing the portfolio requirements. So obviously within this industry and with it, any form of qualification, there's a lot of theory work which goes behind it, but a huge, huge part of it is the practical side of it. So in the next four weeks, we're going on our first round of placements, which is going to really get us hands on and really hopefully help to cement and see and practice all the theory we've learned over the past three weeks. Um, but as part of that, we need to do a portfolio and demonstrate what we've learned and what we've been doing when we've been out on the site. And I suppose a key takeaway from this for me is that the more evidence we have to show the assessors, the better. Um, so it's really worth just making sure we're capturing every job, everything we're doing, and just 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 learning the whole way through. Because A, we'll be at, actually doing on-site so learning, and B, then cementing that by writing it down, understanding the reasons why we're doing that. Again, it, it's just that layer of learning, it will just really help us. Um, and whilst they've made it very clear at the training centre that they will do all they can to help us, this this is really on us and we need to make sure that we're capturing this information and ultimately this will be the sticking point as to how quickly we can qualify assuming we pass our exams um and so you know i, I was assume with more, most mature kind of learners doing something like i'm doing is that getting back to work and starting earning again is really important so i want my my qualification process to be as quick as possible um so what I've really taken away from that is just really a case that I need to commit, really a case to make sure I need to be recording everything, learning everything, so I'm the best engineer I can possibly be once I qualify, but also do it as quickly as possible as well by making sure that all that paperwork is in date, done really quickly, um, so it just speeds up that whole qualification process for me. So yeah, that was my key takeaway. Really excited for the next stage. I think within the, um, the, the team of students we've got together at the minute, again, loads of different mixed abilities in terms of practical skills. So I think that those that haven't really been on site before, there's a bit of apprehension. Those that are um, have been on site a lot before, they're probably actually more nervous about the classroom side of things and then you're really reveling on the chance to get out on site. I have I've done a bit of both, um, so I'm not overly concerned about going onto site. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Um, and really looking forward to get back also as well after this placement um, just to continue the next stage of the theory because I think everything will click together even more than it already has. But yeah, really excited for the next le next wave. Um, and what I'll do is when I'm on uh, sites over the next few weeks, I'll take a load of videos more so you can actually see what I'm doing on a daily basis as well. Thank you very much. Speak soon.